Okay, now I've finished the inside, I could start to finish the outside, just a few little bits to finish off. Um, as you can see there, I've done the, so the grass is cutting, um, done a uh, mesh there, so the airflow goes under the build there. Uh, then around the side, because I've done my cladding, uh, metal sheet cladding all the way to the bottom, um, I had to get away to get airflow underneath the build. So I've drilled lots of 70 mil holes every other section here and used the soffit vents in in there to get airflow right under. Um, the, the top of the joist is probably around here. So uh, as you can see, the, 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 there's, a, there's a fall on my garden. So uh, the front of the build is a lot higher. And as you can see, it goes on, they get lower and lower. So, Keep the airflow, so I've got them all along here. Oh, and I've done the gravel path. That was all a mud bath here before. Uh, so all the way round. The um, drain there with a leaf trap. That goes to a soak away. All the way down there to the garden. Uh, continue around here. And on with more uh, vents. So I should have a good lot of airflow all the way around and then back to the decking and yeah I've got a little bit of a gap all the way under there. Uh, so I've done the gravel path, um, so I've got good drainage there now, that's all done. And then with all the offcuts I built a small a tool shed here um, out, of, out of the composite of boards I had left over, just the offcuts. As you can see, I've got the joins, uh, joins in there, that's, that's fine. Uh, roof was EPDM uh, rubber left over. Um, all of the joists and uh, wood I used for this were just offcuts and bits and bobs uh, that I had that I had left over. Um, the front retaining wall here because again my garden goes up at an angle I've got this big beech tree behind um, I built this retaining wall here at a breeze block um, and then there's a couple of block pillars at the back <coughs> supporting it from the, from the other side I didn't have enough um, composite cladding for uh, to, to do the door um, so I had to buy this uh, tongue and groove um, wood and then yeah I just stained it the same same colour and that's waterproof now lock on there and padlock to protect the tools but yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a decent sized shed there was one uh, absolute design floor uh, I wanted the door all the, to, to, to go all the way back here and uh, swing at the back there but uh, upon fitting the door and then opening it there's a bit of a design flaw there but uh, it's <laughs> So it's a bit gutted about that. I could cut it down, have it lower, but I'd end up hitting my head, blah, blah. But it's okay, it's okay. It opens enough, um, so that's fine. Um, in here, I've done all shelving. I fitted a window at the back there, just got it off eBay. I've got that 18 mil ply at the back here, so you just slide in there and uh, grip filled it in, that's fine. Um, yeah, um, no, uh, no hybrid roof system here, just all, all off cuts from the roof. Uh, so yeah, shelves. Um, I'm just thinking about getting some power in here, actually extending it from the fuse board, which is just down there. But uh, yeah, nice little tool shed. How's all my tools? Somewhere to put all the, all the stuff. Okay, thanks very much.